another inmate attack on staff and fires set inside a Nebraska prison. The latest incident Friday night at the Diagnostic and Evaluation Center in Lincoln. Three staff assaulted, no serious injuries. Correction officials have released few details on the extent of damage or the cause of the disturbance, but the facility is filled with more than three times the number of inmates it's designed to handle. When you have overcrowding, high levels of overcrowding and high levels of understaffing, you're going to have issues. And the Inspector General of Corrections will be looking closely at the cause of this incident and the uprising at the Tecumseh prison in March. He believes much of the problems point back to staff shortages, currently at 145 vacancies system-wide. He says the department needs a pay system that rewards and retains veteran staff. I think that's a huge piece of the puzzle. Governor Pete Ricketts promoting UNL's Rodeo Monday well, says I, there I was proper staffing at the prison. Uh, with regards to the Diagnostic Center, and that's one of the reasons why we were able to manage this effectively. He believes they are making strides in both overcrowding and staffing, including negotiating with the union about merit pay increases. Corrections has been really underinvested for a long, long time. And the types of problems we have are not going to be fixed overnight. If Rome is burning, basically, uh, which it literally is. But Omaha Senator Bob Chris, who was part of two previous legislative committees overseeing corrections, says not enough progress is being made. He says lawmakers need to take seriously the threat by the American Civil Liberties Union. It is days away from suing the state over prison overcrowding. If they follow through with what they say they're going to do, then we're going to have problems. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.